Along with being home to many historic monuments and serving as the final resting place for various war heroes, there is one individual interred at Arlington National Cemetery who made a lasting impact on this sacred ground. James Parks was born in the 1840s of what was then known as the Arlington House Plantation. He worked there as a slave until General Robert E. Lee and Mary Custis left the property and headed to Richmond to join the Confederacy. After the U.S. Army took over the land, Parks was freed and soon began working for the organization. Um, he was a caretaker, kind of a handyman. He uh, took part in the construction of three fortifications on the property itself that were integrated into the defenses of Washington, D.C. In 1864, the land where he previously worked was sanctioned as a burial ground, and Parks became one of the first grave diggers for Arlington Cemetery. He helped in burials of uh, many of the U.S. soldiers who uh, died at um, uh, battlefields um, in the general area, as well as uh, deaths from the numerous Civil War hospitals in Washington, D.C. He would maintain his duties as gravedigger and groundskeeper for the rest of his life. In 1925, Congress sought to restore the Arlington House as it was in 1861, but there were no existing records of the building's original look. So Congress turned to Parks for guidance. The look of today's Arlington House is a testament to Parks' memory and attention to detail. In 1929, Parks died of natural causes, and Secretary of War Henry Stimson authorized Parks to be buried with full military honors in Arlington Cemetery, making him the only person in American history who was born, lived, died, and also buried on Arlington's grounds.